one of these lucky couples caught with a dream vacation. Meet Melissa and Tom Weibel. They've been married for three years. She's a creative memories consultant who likes to make scrapbooks. He's a courier who enjoys surfing. Meet Deanna and Ray Rivas. Married for two and a half years, they both enjoy singing and dancing. She's a licensed optician, and he's a customer service manager. They're all here to play the wildest shopping game ever. Shop till you drop. And now, here's the host of Shop Till You Drop, Pat Thank you. The biggest yelp's always from the contestants, I guess so. Welcome, everybody. Good to have you here in our mall. Great to have you watching again at home. I promise it'll be worth your while because we've got some very nice contestants, fun contestants, too. First of all, Deanna and Ray, good to have you here. Thank you. you good two, to be here. You two are married, right? Yes. yes. How'd you meet? Well, um, we met at a bar. Yeah. We were friends for about five weeks, and we went on our first date. And 14 hours later, we were on the way to Vegas to get married. Wow, that's one heck of a first date. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. It was Very fun. nice. <laughs> and now married for a couple of years. Very good. Yeah. It's nice to hear when it turns out like that. Good yeah, for you guys. Thank and you. Melissa and Tom, you two are married also, and it's really turned out for you because you've got a family, right? Yeah, two, two girls. How old? Three and a half, and almost a year old. At almost a year, so you've yeah. got your hands full. You're used yeah. to running around yeah. the house, the mall, whatever, exactly. right? All right, run with me over here because you two on the toss. Come with me. Now, Tom, do you ever wonder why it takes Melissa so long to get dressed? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. You had to be careful how you answer that question, didn't you? You're about to learn that dressing like a woman isn't quite as easy as you might think because on our table we have various clothing items. Now, in a moment, Dee will connect the two of you together with a belt, and then, Melissa, it'll be your job to help Tom dress in four different pieces of women's clothing. At the same time, Tom, it'll be your job to help Melissa dress in the men's clothing. You're going to have one minute to dress in all eight pieces in order to win. What do you think? Pass or play? We'll play. play. You're going to play? play? Okay, we'll put you in a position right here. You'll take your shoes off, just kind of slip them off, if you will, and then Dee is going to attach the two of you with a belt. Yeah, here we go. I'm a licensed representative from Boyney's Belts. <laughs> All right, here and, we go, kids. And you want to be around the other way because All these right. are the men's clothes on this side, and uh, oh. of course, Melissa has to be in the men's clothes. Otherwise, that would be cheating, huh? <laughs> yeah, you kids are great. Wouldn't want that. You kids are great. There you go. All right. <laughs> hey, Slick, thank you very much. All right, you're welcome very much. <laughs> okay. We're going to put one minute on the clock. I'll tell you what to go for, so go as quickly as you can. Ready, set, and put on the pants and the bloomers. The pants and the bloomers. The pants, pants. Okay, get her the pants. You put on the bloomers there, Tom. As quickly as you can. Next, we need the shirt and the blouse. The shirt and the blouse. Okay. Helping each other out there, providing the clothing. You got that one next one? The jacket and the skirt. The jacket and the skirt. I'm going to look real nice in this skirt. Don't fall. Don't fall. That's classy. There you go. Okay, finally, the top hat and the wig. The top hat and the wig. Get it off. Get it on. And you did it. Yes. Very good. Uh, if you guys want to make your way here to center corner of our mall, if that's a possibility. <laughs> Perhaps it's best that your little girls don't see this particular show. It just might mess them up for the rest of their life. 100 points for you and the chance to go shopping in our mall. Remember, we have a shopper special up there. And if you get that, you'll also get a mini vacation. Here are the stores. Heidi's Housewares, Gifts Galore, Leslie's House of Music, Cosmetics Plus, Shea Gourmet, Von Schiffendecker's Furniture, and Gary's Gadgets. What do you think? Heidi's Housewares, that means you just won a sewing machine, D. The fun and functional Janome Gem Sewing Machine. Quality and big machine features in a compact 11-pound package. Great for a new sewist or sewing on the go. Retail value $280. But hang on, Pat, because Heidi's Housewares is today's shopper special. Oh. You're going on a tropical desert getaway. Casablanca Resort, a tropical desert getaway in Mesquite, Nevada. Championship golf courses, fine food, live entertainment, and a spa with state-of-the-art pampering. Call 800-459-PLAY. Casablanca Resort. Wow, that looks like fun. Good for you. Congratulations on that. And now it is your turn. Deanna, come right over here, right? 
Stay right here. We'll explain all this to you right now as we get a chance to have a little bit of fun. Now, there's nothing like a bunch of pushy shoppers at a sale to make you wish you knew a little karate, right? That's right. Well, for this next stunt, you need to know some martial arts. And that's why you're dressed like you are. There had to be a reason, right? There was. Other than that, once you signed up for the show, you had no choice, right? On our table are five items for you to price. Those particular items are an electric walk by West Bend. Next to that, we have the Opti Steamer Plus by Krups. Then we have the Green Tea Candle. Then we have the Designer Bowl Set by Sango. And finally, the Stainless Steel Pot by Faberware. Now, on the wall, we have those five items listed along with two cinder blocks under each one. One with the correct price and one with the incorrect price. Now, the way it's going to work is when I say go, Ray, you're going to grab the two cinder blocks for the first item, bring them over here to Deanna. When you decide which one is the correct price, Deanna, you'll karate chop the cinder block with the wrong price. And then at that point, you'll go over there and put the right one right next to the product, and you'll move on to the next one. You'll have one minute to get three out of five correct. Okay? Yeah. We're going to put one minute on the clock. We're starting here with the walk. The walk. Ready, set, and go. Go, 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 go. Get the two prices for the walk. We have $60 and $30 over there. What do you think it is? Come right back over here. Stand here. Get rid of that and, uh, We're going to chop the 30. Really She's chopping the 30. That means you thought it was the other price. Okay. Next one, we have the steamer. Come on. For the steamer. Chop the, chop 50 and 25. Ah, oh, very nice. Put that here. The next one we have is the green tea candle. The candle. Come back around here so this side so we can see the prices. Step right here. There you go. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just get the price over there. Next one we have the designer bowl set by Sango. What do you think? Get rid of the Okay, nice kick. And finally, the stainless steel pot by Farberware. Two prices. Step right here. What do you think? Nice karate chop. Very good. Right down here to the end of the table, and let's see how well you do, because we're going to work our way back, and you need to get three out of five right in order to do it. Okay, then we're going to start right here, and uh, as you can see, you said it was $70 for this pot. The actual retail value of the pot is $40. Can't give you that one. Next one we have for you right here, you said it was $20 for the bowl set. Bowl set is actually worth $20. That's one. Two more, and you'll do it. Next one, you said $5 for the candle. The candle is actually worth $12. Mmm, can't give you that one. Next one for the steamer, you said $50. It's worth $50. Oh, you need one more right in order to do it. The electric walk, you said, was worth $60. The actual retail value is $30. Oh, so close, you guys. Back here to center court. Watch no trip on that stuff. No points there, I'm sorry to say, but you all look fabulous here on our show. We'll give you a chance to change. We'll change up some stuff on our set and come back with some more stunts and double the point values right after this on Shot to Drop. Welcome back to you. Our contestants have changed a bit since last round, but this hasn't changed. We're going to have some more fun. You ready? Come with me, Deanna and Ray. And you, of course, can pass at this point in the game if you want to do that. Now, it can be hard enough to know what your spouse likes and dislikes, but it can be almost impossible to figure out what your spouse's family thinks about certain issues. Now, on our wall, we have the pictures to represent various members of your family. They are his father, his mother, her father, her mother, her ex, her sister, his ex, and his sister. <laughs> now, in just a moment, I'm going to show you several different items. It'll be your job to tell me whose family member would most likely buy them by holding up the appropriate picture. If you match, you're going to hear this. However, if you're wrong, you're going to hear this. And at that point, Ray, it's going to be your job to change your answer to match Deanna's. You'll have one minute to get four out of five right in order to win. What do you think? Pass your play. Play. We're going to play. We're going to play. play. Okay, step right over there. Deanna, you're on this side. <coughs> we are going to put one minute on the clock. Are you ready, set, and whose family member is most likely to buy Nair hair removal system? What do you think? Quickly. That's not a match. Quickly change. That is a match. Okay, next one. It's the Backstreet Boys CD. Who would buy that? The Backstreet Boys <laughs> CD. Quickly. And that is a match. That is two. Next one we have is lingerie. Lingerie. Who's most likely to buy lingerie? Quickly. 
That is a match. Very good. Next one we have for you is this toupee. Quickly. Quickly. Not a match. Change quickly. Toupee. Not a match. Try again. And that is not a match. Try again. And that is a match. Very good. That means you did it. Good job, you guys. Come out of here. <laughs> nice work. You're going to win a prize. Unfortunately, your family's going to be upset with you right now, but we'll give you the points and the chance to go shopping at our mall. Pick a store for us. Um, Gary's Gadgets. Gary's Gadgets it is. That means it is a stereo system. D. A 200 watt toy power mini audio shelf system with multicolor display, three disc CD changer, a full logic dual cassette deck, and three way speakers from Fisher Audio Video. Retail value $300. Good for you. All right, Melissa, come with me. We'll let you know what we did with Tom. Let's stand right here. Now, Elizabeth Taylor is one of our most distinguished actresses. Her humanitarian work has helped countless people throughout the world. And we honor her today, Melissa, by dressing Tom up to look just like her. Tom, come on down here, if you will, please, for us. <laughs> Spitting image, I'd say. <laughs> Glad to see you got rid of that white hair thing that you had going there for a while. Now, in this stunt, I'm going to show you a number of different items. It'll be your job to tell me if they are younger or older than Elizabeth Taylor, who, by the way, was born February 27, 1932. So, 68 years old as of our taping here. Now, each time you're right, the way it's going to work is, Tom, you'll remove one article of clothing. Now, you'll need to get five out of eight right in order for Tom to get out of his Elizabeth Taylor clothing, okay? So, you need to get five right. And I'm sure you'd like to get out of that, so you have added motivation. Are you ready? Yes. We'll start here with a pair of Levi's, older or younger than Elizabeth Taylor. Older is right by 59 years, that's right. Next one we have for you, Dick Clark, older or younger than Elizabeth Taylor? Older, older. You say older, older by three years, that's right, that's two. Next one we have for you is State of Alaska, older or younger? Younger. Younger by 27 years. That is right. That is three. The next one we have for you, you can be taking off arms, articles of clothing as we do each one. Chanel number five, older or younger? Um, younger. You say, younger. You say younger? Actually, it's older by nine years. Can't give you that one. How about the Hollywood sign? Older or younger than Elizabeth Taylor? Older. By one year older. That's right. And we've got one more for you here. The bikini, older or younger than Elizabeth Taylor? Younger. younger. You say younger? It's younger by 14 years. Yeah. Good job, you guys. You just leave that on and head back to center court. You don't have to worry about getting that one off. Goes good with your eyes. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give you the points. And a chance to go shopping in our mall. Pick a store for us, please. Shipping Our furniture store means you just want a great sofa. D. Broyhill adds a new look to your room with this easy to live with sofa. Charm and comfort from Broyhill. Retail value $1,235. Nice prize and a great game going. Melissa and Tom are in the lead, but Deanna and Ray want to change that, and they're going to get their chance to try right after this with our Shoppers Challenge round. Please stay with us. Welcome back. It's our Shoppers Challenge round and our Viewer Challenge round. If you want to play along at home, they'll be playing rather intently here because it all comes down to the next minute and a half. Ladies, step into position here. Good luck to both teams. Minute, 30 seconds on the clock. If you changed a $1 bill into pennies, how many pennies would you have? Yes, that's right. If you wanted to buy a cutlery set, to which of the following stores would you most likely go? Old Navy, Lecter's, or the Disney Store? Lecter's. That's right, Tom. What famous street in New York is known for its live theater performances? Broadway. Yes, that's correct. Would you most likely go to get your hair styled into a mullet at Fuddruckers, Fantastic Sam's, or Frank Fantastic Min Sam's. That's correct. Is Minwax used for water skis, wood floors, or car engines? Yes, Deanna. Wood floors? That's correct. Organza, chiffon, and tulle are all types of what? Yes, Tom. Fabric? That's right. Of the following stores, which was the nation's first department store? Macy's? Sears. Melissa? Uh, that is incorrect. J.C. Penney's or Sears? J.C. Yes. Penney's. Uh, that is incorrect. It's actually Macy's. Wingtip, penny loafer, and pump are all? Shoes. Pump. That's right. What is the name of the hit movie in which Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played an airline pilot? 
Yes, Deanna. Airplane. That's right. Of luggage, car audio, or bathroom fixtures, what does Samsonite make? Yes, luggage. Right. That's right. Old Navy and Banana Republic are both divisions of which of the following? Yes, clothing Lewis. store. Uh, which of the following clothing retailers? Guess Gap or Giorgio Armani? Yes, Gap. That's right. If you wanted to buy a macaw, would you most likely go to a clothing store? A yes, pet store. Pet store is right. Bill Gates teamed up with which of the following people to develop Microsoft? Tim Allen, Paul Allen, or Alan Alda? Yes, Melissa. Um, Alan. Three Tim, seconds. No, no, no. Alan Alda. No, Deanna. And that means we're out of time. And Melissa and Tom, you are going to talk your drop. Catch with Paul Allen on that one. Wow, that was so close. Came up on us there. Thank you, guys. Nice meeting you. We'll see you at the end of the show. And you've got that stereo system. You did it. Good job, Tom. Congratulations. Yeah, I'll take a hug with that. In a moment, we'll shop till we drop. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to you guys, and congratulations to you two. Kind of makes wearing all those women's clothes worth it, doesn't it, Tom? Because <laughs> you're about to win some great stuff, and maybe a dream vacation. To, to where, D? To St. Thomas! <laughs> you and a guest will spend a week at fabulous Bluebeard's Castle Hotel in St. Thomas. Deluxe accommodations, poolside living, tennis, and fantastic Megan's Bay Beach nearby. Bluebeard's Castle Hotel! Very exciting. Wow, I hope you guys make it. All right, you got to spend $2,500 and move very quickly. So let's start by putting a minute 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, and go. Look inside the first of our boxes. Silver plated wine cooler from Wallace Silversmiths. Keep her exchange. What do you think? Got to move quickly. Next one, we have a replica of an antique yeah. vase. I'm going to take that back. Dropping that off at 24 carats. That was worth just $69. So that was probably a good move making that exchange. Next one we have Sanyo's Transformax Vacuum. Three vacuums in one. Taking that one back. That retails for $99. So another good move on the exchange. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's the Xylus Indoor Outdoor yeah, Cooking Package. It's Swiss made kitchen it's accessories. Cool. Nope, he's going to Gary's Gadgets with those. Right over there. And the bell. That's a set of Lagostina cookware, 12 piece set with European styling. Taking the back of gifts galore. That was worth $300. Hopefully, that's a good move for you. And finally, uh, pottery bar and lamp and shade. You're going to go upstairs? Got to move quickly. Furniture, furniture. 22 seconds at this point. Goes to Sally's Bedding and Beyond. Ben the bell. Very good. Time to spare. Nice running, you guys. Right over here. Let's see how it turns out. Hey, Slick. Hey. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Back at you. All right. Let's see how you did. And how you did means get to $2,500 so we can get you guys to St. Thomas. Starting off with this wine cooler, D. Wallace Royal English Silver Plated Wine Cooler. An elegant addition to any table to entertain and impress. From Wallace Silversmiths. Retail value on this one is $313. Good start. $21.82 to go as we next go to gifts galore. And inside, we come out with a nice gift basket. See? Try Pampers You in Style, an exciting gift selection of his and her personal care products. Hair and skin treatments for health and beauty from Try Institute of Trichology. You took back the cookware for $300. You got something worth $300, so an even trade. But your hair's going to look nice. Next, we go to Gary's Gadgets, and inside, we come back out, well, uh, look at this gadget. See? The new Waterfall Pull-Out Spray Faucet is ergonomically designed to contour to the hand and changes from spray to stream with a simple push of a side button. Perfect for today's busy kitchens from Delta Faucet Company. Retail value on this one is $299. Need some big numbers here because you still have $15.88 to get to St. Thomas. Outdoor Explorer is the place, and inside, well, take a look at this. I think this represents a nice hammock. Is that right, Dave? Righto. Hatteras Hammocks will help you sway your troubles away in their hand-woven cotton hammock, complete with stand and pillow from Hatteras Hammock. By the way, you took back the vacuum to get something worth $300. That was a good trade for you. So why don't you come out along here? We'll take a look at our next two boxes. 24 carats. That's our jewelry store. Inside, some very nice time pieces here. D? Mmm. Proton his and her watches have Duco white ceramic dial with easy to read markers and two tone gold plated. 100 feet water resistant, scratch resistant mineral crystal from Croton Watch Company. You took back that silver vase. Looked pretty expensive, huh? It wasn't. It was worth 69. You traded for something worth 500. <laughs> That's the way to do it. 
We get to our final box. Remember, no matter what happens, you get to keep all of this stuff you won here on the show, including earlier the sewing machine, the sofa that was worth more than $1,000, and you won the trip to Mesquite, Nevada. So you guys have done very well. But let's see if we can get you to St. Thomas as we look inside here from Sally's Bedding and Beyond and come back out with this. See? The Broy Hill Difference, a charming blanket chest, the right thing in the right place. It really makes for an added charm from Broy Hill. We need the retail value to be worth $788. The actual retail value is $585. Didn't get the trip, but you did get some very nice stuff and all of the stuff on the show. Thanks so much for being here, Melissa. Tom, nice meeting you. And thank you for being here. This is Pat Finn for Dee Baker and the entire Stone Stanley family. Bye, my friends.